Right, hey, um, we're going to do some yoga stretches and just some sort of gentle movement as well for um, tight necks and tight shoulders. Um, I've worked over quite a number of years with a lot of people, one-to-one um, -one and doing massage, doing yoga and things with neck issues, so it's like massively common and um, depending on the severity really and your own flexibility and what the, what the issue is obviously different exercises will probably work in different circumstances but I'll just show you a few what I think are really good it's a problem that I get and I've had for years and years and years I do get it on and off um, but my yoga pretty much for a long time probably probably the last 10 years or so really has really kept it in check and stopped it when I feel myself getting tight I'll just bang out some of these stretches and it seems to sort it out so um yeah but I have had it where literally I can't turn my head I can't drive uh just absolute agony so um I'll show you some stuff you can do for that. So if it's um, if it is that severe, if you've just basically woken up, maybe quite often, and sometimes it can be your bed <laughs> if you're sleeping on a really soft mattress or the wrong pillow, it can. If you have tension up here, it can aggravate it. So you can sometimes wake up in the morning and just be like, oh my god, I can't turn my head. So um, something I think really helps is to use um, hot and cold so you might have different things to this but these are just sort of like basic things um, this is a wheat bag and these are really good um, they kind of like mould around your, sh your shoulder basically so you can put it depending on where you're feeling your tension so I quite often feel tension coming from around the shoulder blades so it would be nice to have the heat, so you normally you'd, um, heat these up, so you can heat, sometimes heat them in a microwave or put them on a, a radiator so you heat them up. So um, yeah, I'd normally sort of do that, it's targeting possibly where the tension is actually coming from and it's targeting the whole area around here. I've possibly also got tension around the front, so we've got it around here. So it's great, really. Um, you can do it like that. Just getting both if they both feel tight. They're really good to utilise. So probably say if you're going to use um, hot and cold, probably just like five minutes or so. Um, you don't need to do much longer than that, really. So um, you could do five minutes with the hot. And then I'm just using the, uh, the good old frozen bees, so make sure you don't eat them afterwards because they'll obviously melt whilst they're out. But um, yeah, just got a bag of frozen peas, just a few left out of the freezer. And generally it will be too cold to put straight onto the skin, so you might want to just wrap it. I've just got a, a fairly thin tea towel so that the cold's coming through. And again, I'll hold it possibly here where the tension is coming from again five minutes should be fine don't go any more than ten so sort of five to ten minutes if you want to move the place so you might hold it here but then you might also feel this tension higher up you could move it and hold it there again for a bit so you could do that just literally once that and then that one or you could do it a couple of times but I'd probably say finish with the cold Again, listen to your body, everyone's different, some people might just want literally cold, some people might just want hot, or you might not want to do either. So really, yeah, see how you feel whilst you're doing it and also afterwards um, throughout the day and possibly the next day, see if it seems to have helped. It's always helped with me, um, so, so that's why I obviously... <laughs> bit of advice about that so um again if it's really tight i'm going to show you a nice 
really gentle, probably what I think is the safest exercise to do for um, stiff neck and tight shoulders. So when you're at that stage where literally you can not really turn your head to, to talk to people or if you move it too quick, just like agony, I find it's really, really helpful to lay down on the floor. So don't do it on the bed, again, too soft. <laughs> so um, if you've got a mat, get it down on the floor and then just lay yourself down onto the floor so you can just sort of like ease yourself back and um, just start off by relaxing. So I'm gonna keep my knees bent. Obviously the neck um, and all these muscles are kind of like connected to the spine. So um, having the knees bent just helps to put less pressure on the spine and the lower back. So it just makes it a bit gentler. So I'm having my knees bent, my feet flat on the floor, um, feet pointing straight forward. I'm gonna bring my arms so my palms are turning up and they're slightly out away from my body. And I'm just going to try and get my neck and my head comfy. So the aim here is to roll the chest open, allow the chest to open and relax, allowing the shoulders to relax and feeling the shoulder blades. So the shoulder blades should you probably feel tension in the shoulder blades and around the shoulder blades but we're just aiming to try and release the upper back and the shoulder blades down onto the ground so you might um want to just hold this position for a few minutes with your neck and your head if you just gently draw your chin down slightly just so that you're creating some length and you're not holding tension in the back of your neck. Have your arms slightly away from your body, so not too close because that will create tension. So if you take them further away, this just helps to open up all this bit. So it'll help to release tension from the muscles um, at the front of the shoulders as well. Allowing the fingers to relax, so even your fingers and your hands have an effect on the arms and the neck and the shoulders and um, so we're just holding it there and just take a few deep breaths so hopefully feeling your upper back relaxing or starting to relax and release down onto the ground so yeah really important to do it on um, a carpet or a fairly hard floor so that your back does release on a, a bed or a settee it, um, it's going to be like an uneven surface for your back so it won't be as safe um, and it probably won't help it'll be like yeah uneven sort of um, relaxing of the, the muscles and the tension as well so um, just be aware of anywhere that you're feeling tense as well so it might not just be your neck going to bring in some really gentle exercises now so from having your head um, hopefully fairly central and feeling your shoulders starting to relax you're going to just gently take your head to the left so this is a really gentle movement now you might not be able to go far at all you can just go here that's cool so what I'd probably say is just gently go into it and um, we'll probably just keep it moving to start off so maybe on an inhale just gently coming back to the middle and then on an exhale we're gently going to the other side so yeah you might not be able to go very far at all but that's cool inhaling back to the middle or just kind of going at your own pace really feeling into where you feel it really pulling or really tight, just then gently easing out of it. So we're not going past our comfort zone. <clears throat> so back to the middle. So when you start to get into it, you quite nice to like do a nice relaxing out breath and then an in breath back to the middle. Nice deep breathing into your belly and then an out breath. Bye.
But you might find um, when you've done a few of those, you might just want to bring it back to the middle and just sort of hold it there. And again, just tune into your upper back and your shoulders, the back of your neck. Just breathe. If you feel like it's safe, you're going to be okay. You can actually do the same exercise, but then hold it at the point of where you're feeling the tension and the stretch. So it'd be a similar thing. So you could inhale as you've got your head central. And then exhale as we go to the side. And then we're just holding it there. So just relax your breathing as you hold. And just gently breathing in to the tension. So again, tune into your body. Really, you know what feels right for you. If that feels too strong at this stage, then just maybe stick to the, the continuous movement if it feels okay. It's good to hold it just for a while until you feel it start to release. So on the exhale, you can maybe lengthen the exhale and um, feel as though you're breathing away any tension. So it might be um, obviously from your neck. <laughs> it might be from the chest, from the centre of the chest or out towards the sides. It might be around the shoulders. It might be around the shoulder blades. It might be down the tops of the arms or even into the hands and the fingers. So. The exhale you can lengthen if you want, making it longer than the in-breath and just really trying to release on the exhale. When you feel ready to come out, really slowly come out. So yeah, keep nice and supported by the ground as you just really gently bring the head back up to the middle. You might want to just rest in the middle, take a few breaths. And then we'll do it to the other side. So you'll probably, generally, when you've got a stiff neck, you've got one side tighter than the other. So you might find one side is a lot more difficult and a lot more uncomfortable than the other side. But just tune into what feels right for you. So again, you breathe in away tension on the exhale, have a little body scan so you can be aware of where you're holding your tension. So it's really good to know quite often if you wake up with like a tight neck, it's kind of like, oh, why have I got this tight neck? But it could be that it's actually the shoulder causing it. So it's kind of, yeah good to just bring some stillness in and tune in to where um, what you feel it might be and where the actual tension is. Just trying to release the tension as you exhale. So I can feel like my, um, yeah, my left left shoulder blade tends to be quite tight so I, I'm like as I'm exhaling I'm just trying to release it down onto the ground nice deep belly breathing and if you um yeah whenever you feel you're ready to come out again really gently because it's your neck and obviously it's really tight just really gently coming back out bringing your head back to the middle and maybe just um tuning in to your upper back your shoulders if you need to sort of adjust yourself um so you have the back of your head kind of like sinking down onto the ground but you length you're lengthening through the back of your neck but you're not drawing your chin down too much just a little bit just taking a few breaths because obviously, um, yeah, you just it can be quite strong if you've got a really tight neck. So, um, just sort of tune into yourself. Also, when your neck's really tight, it can make you um, 
to feel lightheaded and dizzy. So it can, it can because of the tension and um, sort of restriction of blood flow, but also it can when the tension's been released. So after some stretches or some ex exercise or massage, um, or even possibly after heat, like a bath or something, it might make you feel dizzy because the the um, the tension's actually releasing. So just be aware of that. To come out, you might just want to um, bring the knees into the chest. So obviously, if your neck is really tight, just want you to be really careful coming out. If it feels comfy, you just sort of like rolling over onto your side. Maybe put your hands under your head just to allow yourself to gently come round. And then to come up to sitting, you bring your top hand down and then you're going to just push yourself up. <sighs> like this. So, um, yeah, if you're at the peak of your tension, that's probably all I'd recommend. The heat, the cold, if they feel okay. Um, resting yourself down onto the ground, onto a flat ground. Um, make sure that you don't get too cold as well. So if the ground's quite cold, you might want to put some blankets down or something. Um, and yeah, just really trying to release your neck. So you don't even have to do the exercises to start off. You could just literally um, allow yourself to lay there and just breathe away the tension, just keeping your head in line with your spine. If it does feel okay, then you can have a go at doing the exercises.